Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my organization and declutter of my makeup room. If you missed part one, definitely check that out. I'll leave it linked up above um, so that you could get an overview of what I'm trying to accomplish with this project. So this is my um, top two highlighter drawers. So um, these are the ones in that Alex unit from Ikea that I showed yesterday. And I just have so many powder highlighters. It's insane. I don't even really wear highlighter anymore. So I'm going to try to cut this collection down to the bare minimum. Minimum, not just what I would wear but also I'm going to try to keep products that I think I may need to use in videos if I'm talking about certain ones or maybe just keep ones that I know are really popular that people still might be talking about or have questions on or want comparisons with but um, so much of this I'm just going to go ahead and declutter and put in either a donation pile or for friends and family so I thought what I would do to keep this video from being too long and also just from you know me taking too long to do this project since I have have so much work ahead of me I don't want to sit and just like open up every single one and talk about them like I did in my eyeshadow palette videos so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video and just separate everything into either a keep or giveaway pile and then um, at the end I'll talk about like why I kept certain things and why I was getting rid of other things but I'll just try to speed through it as quickly as I can so let's go ahead and get to it guys so I think I have everything narrowed down this is the pile of highlighters I'm going to be getting rid of for various reasons um, some is formula related and some of it is just because I don't wear some of these colors like the rainbow highlights or the purple like I really like the wet and wild formula but I'm not going to wear these colors this one's too dark for me these are just super super old they don't even make them anymore um, same thing with like these NYX duochromes uh, I just don't wear duochrome highlighters I also am not a fan of loose highlighters so that one's going in there there's a lot that are just so super old and there's just no reason to keep them anymore I've had them forever they were limited edition so this is my get rid of pile and then these are the ones I think I'm keeping and I was trying to just cut it down to one drawer and it's still way more highlighters than I'm ever gonna use but as far as my channel goes I want to be able to reference certain ones so for example I'm keeping my Becca highlighters because these are iconic when people think of highlighter they think of Becca and if I ever want to you know do a video on highlighter for any reason or just Becca in general like I would want these especially like I have champagne pop and Prosecco pop and some of those really popular ones I like the persona highlighters so I'm keeping those obviously my Mary luminizer um, my Lorac highlighters are some some of my favorites as you saw if you watched my um, Lorac video that I did recently this one is like one that's not even made anymore so Hollywood from Anastasia this one's amazing like I want to keep it just because again it's just like one of those iconic highlighters so it's beautiful and uh, yeah I just can't part with that one <laughs> Also, the um, Too Faced, these heart ones, these are really nice. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but it's a really nice smooth formula. And same thing with the um, Becca Dandelion one. This one is so smooth. It's really, really nice and a little bit more subtle, so I definitely wear that one. This Juvia's Place one is fairly new. They sent it to me, but I did uh, get rid of the other two that I had because they were just the wrong color for me, but this one actually works out well. And then I have a Josie Marin one that's also really nice and like uh, subtle and some Laura Geller that I really enjoy as well. This one is all drugstore highlight. So again, just ones that I feel like I might want to reference in a video if I'm talking about inexpensive highlighters at the drugstore. So um, we have these Physicians Formula ones that are really nice. These are new. I just got them recently. Also, these Milani ones are nice. Um, the Wet n Wild. I kept the colors that I feel like I would use. This Physicians Formula one is actually really nice as well. Um, Maybelline Master Chrome and actually this one is high-end it's the Tarte Stunner highlighter this is another like one that's just a classic so I'm gonna keep that 
And then over on this side, I have some of the baked formulas that I really enjoy. Laura Geller's French Vanilla. I wear that one a lot because it's just like so super subtle. These e.l.f. baked ones are pretty good too. So if I ever want to talk about, you know, affordable highlights, that's another good one. Hourglass, another great subtle option. Same thing with the Essence Pure Nude. Same thing with the J-Cat Golden Soleil. This baked formula is actually wonderful if you have dry skin or textured skin. Um, same thing with the Pure Afterglow. This is actually the original one, and you can see like it's just a really beautiful, subtle um, highlighter, very similar to the Laura Geller French Vanilla, but they actually redid it recently. And this is the new one they sent me. And I'm keeping both just because I want to be able to maybe show this in a video at some point. But look at how shiny that is. Like the original is definitely not that way. And I prefer the original to this one. Also, we have the um, pop highlighters. These are amazing. Nobody ever talks about these, but they're fantastic. They're like the smoothest highlighter ever. And actually very similar to those are these pixie ones here. If you've ever tried these, the pop ones are almost the same. Um, this is another Hourglass Ambient Powder. NARS, this is another great one if you like subtle highlights. This one's Hot Sand. I almost feel like now I should do a video on subtle highlighters because um, there's so many good ones now that I'm looking at it. So I feel like this little tray right here is probably the one that I would dip into and use myself while I kept most of these just for like reference or, you know, for videos and things like that. And then these, um, they just didn't fit. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put these yet. Like these are just too wide to fit in here. So I may just end up putting them along the side in the drawer if they'll fit. Um, but these are the Kaleidos highlighters and they just sent these to me recently so I don't want to get rid of them yet. They are kind of some funky colors but I was thinking about doing a video on Kaleidos because I have a bunch of their stuff now and I feel like they're a really underrated brand that no one talks about so I want to keep these for now and this is um, a Lancome highlighter. It's the dual finish. This one is also really beautiful. It's just like a gorgeous color first of all and it's also a super super smooth like non-chunky highlighter. What shade is this actually? It's called Shimmering Buff. It's great for my skin tone. And then also these Zoeva ones, they, I, they just sent these to me recently as well. And some of them are a little bit, um, you know, crazy colors, but like I said, I just got them, so I hate to get rid of them for right now, but maybe in the future, if I don't see myself using them, I probably will. So anyway, those are the first two drawers. All right, and then the next two drawers are highlighter palettes. So already in this drawer, I think I see two that I wanna keep. The first one is the Flower Beauty one. This one is one of the best highlight formulas I've ever tried. They're just so super intense, but at the same time really smooth. And I don't normally like an intense highlight, but this one is so smooth that it just, it glides on the skin and it doesn't accentuate my texture. So I just love this formula. Definitely wanna keep this one. And also, I have this one from Laura Mercier. These are also really nice highlighters. This was a special limited edition from Sephora. I'll show it to you really quick. So here's what it looks like inside. You have four different shades of her face illuminator. So I'm gonna keep these just in case I ever need to swatch them for anything. And then the rest of these are just beyond old at this point, and I definitely am not going to be using them. Um, what is this one? This one's from Sephora, I think. It's Sephora's um, brand or Sephora collection. Um, Makeup Revolution. I have one from Pure and a Beach Cosmetics one. So yeah, I don't really see myself using highlighting palettes anymore, and I have so many single ones at this point that I think I'm just going to declutter these. All right, and then in the second drawer, I definitely see some that I want to keep as well. Um, these Huda Beauty ones, uh, I want to keep these just because I literally just got them from the brand really recently and, um, you know, just have on hand because these are really popular. And then also the Tardis Pro Glow to Go. I actually have taken this on vacation with me and used it for my whole face because it has the bronzer in here. So what I like about it is you can actually use the bronzer like as a crease color and then use one of these on your lid and then also use the bronzer as like a blush on your cheeks. So it kind of works as a really fun little travel palette um, to do your whole face with so I'm definitely gonna keep this one and also my hourglass ambient palettes I have this marble one from a couple holidays ago that I still really like and then I also have this one and this one has blushes and bronzer in it as well so this is like a full face palette I think I'm gonna hang on to this one too I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these ones from bad habit since they're not around anymore um, then I have some drugstore ones flower beauty 
I have another one of these tart ones, really? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I had two of them. That's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> all right, well then I have another one for travel. These Revlon Galaxy Dream ones. These are actually really nice for drugstore highlights. They're a nice, subtle formula, and I was really surprised by them because I normally don't like Revlon all that much. Um, so I guess I'll hang on to these in case I ever want to do uh, like a video on drugstore highlights. There's another Bad Habit one that I'm definitely not going to use. This one I think was like a spin-off from Bad Habit Beauty, so I'm going to declutter that one. Uh, this is one from Mally. I don't think this is even made anymore. And then this one is from Found. Uh, this one was just okay, but I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Um, I have the ELF Illuminating Palette. Uh, this one's just so, so old. I think I'm going to get rid of it. The Manizer Sisters uh, from The Balm. I think I'll hang on to this because it has Cindy Lou and Betty Lou as well. This Flower Beauty one wasn't too fond of. Oh wow, and this one's from ColourPop? I don't even remember this one. Let me just take a quick look. I don't even know when the heck I got this. It must have been a really long time ago. Yeah, so I mean, really pretty shades, but I don't see myself using it all that much. This L'Oreal one, I feel like these like didn't even show up when I tried using them, if I remember correctly. And then we have this one from Tarte. Uh, let me just open this up. Okay, so I kind of remember this formula being amazing, but I'm not quite sure if this one is made anymore. And really, like, because I don't use highlighters, the only reason to keep it would be if I ever wanted to show it on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to have to put this aside and just check and see if it's still a current product. All right, guys, so I was just able to cut down my highlighter collection from five drawers down to two. So I have powders in this top one here, and then my creams and palettes in the second drawer and that's it so here's everything that I'm planning to declutter and I think I definitely met my goal of decluttering more than I wanted to keep that was my ultimate goal so uh, I'm glad about that hopefully I can get to the bronzers and face palettes tomorrow my plan was to try and do all of that today but it just didn't happen I still have to edit and upload this video so hopefully we can get that done tomorrow and move things along so I will see you guys then